In this session, we're going to look at creating a pivot table from data in Excel. And what a pivot table does is it displays the data you have in a different way. This spreadsheet we have here shows us different people in a company, the department they work in, and gives us values for the expenses they've put in. And what we want to do is we want to create a pivot table that shows this data in a different way. We want the totals by department. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the data I want to do a pivot table on and you find a pivot table in your insert menu. So you click insert and pivot table. Because I've already highlighted the data I want to use, it's brought it up here in my wizard. So select the table or range. If you have the wrong area highlighted, you can simply highlight the area you want to include. Then it says choose where you want the pivot table to be placed, a new worksheet or an existing worksheet. And on this occasion, I'm going to choose an existing worksheet and I'm going to say I want it here. OK. And what happens when I click OK is it brings me up another menu down the right hand side here. And this is the area where my pivot table is going to be presented. So what I want to do here are my fields from my spreadsheet. I want to take department and I want to make that a row and you can see here it starts to build my pivot table. So here are my departments. And I want to know how much each department's expenses are in total. So I take the total figure and I drag it into values. That's all I want to do on this pivot table. I close that window and I have a pivot table here, which has taken each department, each person in each department and returned me the total figures. So you can see that the data I originally had represented here is now shown in a different way here in a pivot table. So the key to a pivot table is have some existing data to need to present it in a different way and to take each field into a row or a data field within your pivot table menu, which pops up down the right hand side of your screen.